Tyler with Jahu moving on to, to Weibo. But I would love to see this team actually make a deep run. Um, and the first time these teams played each other, RNG slapped the out of TT. It was absolute destruction. So we'll, we'll see what ends up happening in this one. Um, RNG obviously had they had a, an up and down season. They started pretty bad and they won a bunch of games towards the middle and then they just started like losing to random teams towards the end. Um, but overall, I mean, I think the team is in better shape than they were at the beginning of the season. So hopefully they're they're able to, to show us something because they have the players for it, man. They have the talent on this roster. When you have way breathe, you have way breathe, you, you have Ming and Gull on your team. How could that team be bad, bro? How could that team be bad? Hey, Zeri Ban, any first pick? Most likely this will be support. UCAL could play it, but I feel like UCAL generally likes to play more um, like aggressive mid laners. He's a melee mid player. Yone, Akali, these types of champs is what UCAL wants to play to carry the team. Okay, the Vi. Vi is like just always a fine pick. I'm not a huge fan of it all the time, but it, it's a fine pick. All right, what are we picking with it, though? Philios? Uh, makes sense. You go Vi with the Philios to try to also uh, make the Lucianami less attractive, because the Vi kind of blocks the Lucianami. Kennen, okay. Kennen is scary to pick into Breathe. It's really scary to pick into Breathe. Obviously, it prevents him from playing certain champions like Jax, for, for example, but Breathe can play tanks pretty well, and he can play things like Camille into Kennen and you know, if he ever gets a lead, it's over. Scion is a huge pick for Breathe. I think he has something like a 10 and 1 or 9 and 1 win record on Scion so far. So, this is a pick that he's had a ton of success on this season. I mean, Nautilus. Nautilus Aphilios is not that great into lanes like Varus Annie, which is what I could easily see them playing here. Like, I think if you want to default to an 80 carry, you probably want one like Varus here. The only problem with Varus is that the Varus can't kill the Scion, but in the lane, it's good. So they have to make a decision. Are we playing for the lane? Are we playing for something else? Not playing for the lane. Or, or sorry, they are playing for the lane. They're not playing for the team fight. Okay. One fun Kaisa angle. Nah, you can't play Kaisa Annie really into Nautilus Aphilios. Also, the mobility AD carries are not so good into Nautilus because Nautilus kind of just locks them down. Ooh. They put the Annie mid. They put the Annie mid. What would I like to see out of Angel? I would love to see something like an Aurelian Soul here. I feel like Aurelian Soul would break this game. Aurelian Soul into this type of stuff. You have pretty easy lane versus Annie. You can just get through the lane. Just be mega OP later on. Dude, I, I love the Aesol angle here, though, because Aesol is like a, a tank champion anyway. The, the way that you end up building with, like, Leandries, Rylai's, Seraphs, this type of stuff, you're just so tanky. Um, I mean, you can even do things like I was playing today, and there's a there's an Aesol one trick in in uh, Grandmaster in North America. He goes crown into like a lot of dive, which you could still do, and it's it's pretty hard to move that champion. And then when the enemy team is low range like this, like the only thing that's high range is the the Varus, and you don't really you're not really worried about the Varus carrying the game because you have a Scion on your team. So I think Aurelius Soul would be huge. Okay, Way is a little bit unhealthy here i can't believe he's going for i can't believe he he's going for the wolves there that's so crazy really really risky h1 gets a kill mid yeah, double flash on him he can potentially get hoya if he like walks into range of a scion key or something oh my god he just misses it way bro that's actually so bad because they probably would have got that kill I mean, it would have at least been a flash, but he can combo enough damage in, and, and Hoya was no uh, E. So he could have definitely won that. Breathe is going to have to flash here. He lives if he flashes. Oh my god. All right, well, TT is uh, super far ahead now. RNG playing really bad in the first three minutes here. Terrible first three minutes from them. Crazy bad. Damn. I mean, the, the thing is here is that the Scion should be, like, pretty unkillable in the game. But, yeah. The cannon is ahead now, so the lane is going to be harder than it was before. Way is not very useful. I mean, maybe they can look for three-man plays. I think Rise, one of the, the reasons why they probably picked Rise in this game is that cannon is really susceptible to being uh, ganked by globals or, like, semi-globals. So Kennen is really susceptible to things like Camille Galio combo, TF, ult, Rise ult, things like that. Ults into a Kennen lane are always tough, so, yeah. And Wei is taking away a lot of camps, actually. 
surprising considering how ahead h1 was no flash on varus for this fight it is pretty big because there is not so the thing about tt is they have really good engage but they don't have uh, much damage after the engage i mean i think this is fine honestly i think this is fine for rng legitimately i think they just win this eventually oh maybe not stopwatch <gasps> they actually they actually lose it wow the stopwatch was so big there, and the flash out from Beach One. I thought Beach One was gonna insta die, but he didn't. I thought the one man ult was gonna be bad, but I guess I guess it wasn't. Well, this game is over. That's exactly what uh, TT needed. Yeah, this is just completely doomed all over the place. Damn, the thing that's that's crazy about this is that RNG got everything they wanted in this game. They got everything they wanted in the draft and everything they wanted in the game. So the fact that they're losing this hard when the draft was perfect for them, it's scary. It's super scary for them. This is like a game you feel horrible to lose. Oh, uh, at least they should kill Hoya here. Oh my God, Angel! Angel's combo was so bad there. Angel's combo was so bad on Rise. He didn't get the EQ. Like that was just a terrible combo. I mean, he went for the empowered root when the guy's already CC'd instead of just doing his burst combo. Crazy. Yeah, this this game is super over. They're like every play they've went for has failed, and yeah, I mean they just look they look really bad. I don't know. The only way they could potentially win this is just like Gala carrying, but it's very hard to carry this game as Aphilius. He's gonna need a ton of items. Like there, Varus had no flash, right? So if they actually, oh my God, we're TPing here. At least he has Jock Show, and IE was completed. So actually, RNG did get their items. It's super hard to play though. It's really hard to play, but at least they have like the. They have the bare minimum here with uh, their items. At least they can like. There's like a, 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 a there's like a five percent chance instead of a zero percent chance. Actually, okay, going flash for Leona ult before a fight. Trading an ult for your flash, like when you're about to fight, is sometimes good. Obviously, if you do this play like a minute before Drake or whatever, and you're able to get a a summoner, that's a completely different story. But if you're doing it right before a fight like this, it's it's okay. Assuming Leonel doesn't just come back up in the fight and RG don't just accept the standoff. Angel's just trying to scout for Yukal here. Gala is just getting one shot. Oh, they were able to kill Cannon, but the rest of the fight is doomed. Gala can't fight anymore. Yeah, Soul. I mean, Soul is huge for them because the only way that RNG wins is like through the War of Attrition. They don't win the hard engage fights into any cannon, and they're now they're down Soul. I mean, it's just crazy that Angel is like this bad at lading now. He used to be better than this. Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like he's the type of player where I would be very surprised if he kept up his uh, solo queue regimen. He looks like he's just worse at the game in terms of just being aware of what's happening. And normally that doesn't happen if you're still playing like 14 hours a day every single day. I wonder if he's grinding like he used to or if he like took a break when he was teamless before he signed with RNG and he just didn't have like the, the same grind. You can kind of see like even when, when TT has a massive, massive lead, it doesn't feel like they're super able to leverage it like they they do look a little bit lost it's like it reminds me of like when clg is winning a series versus c9 or something but they're like perma making the wrong decision but they're just so far ahead that they can't lose which is what people see in in this matchup right Ulti dodged away by Hoya through the mid lane. Gale forced away from Gala. Solar play was huge, but Ming burnt his flash before again. Just like Angel's ulti. I think Ming is going to get bitten in the bummers. Hang on, Solar okay. Flare. Rather, <laughs> Zeta's play from Yao Yao with the flash was a bit out of range. Yukal still going to try and chase this one up, but he's just going to run past Ming. Um, oh, Ming. <laughs> not sure about that one. Shit. I mean, they're trying to fight because they know that Kennen is far, but literally like 3v5, TT can win. Kitty, a great showing as Bates one now meets his way there to Angel's Realm Warp. Everybody. All right, they're going, they're going all in. This is their last ditch effort. Way is just getting his.
Beat by Beijuan. This time to I mean, this game is over. Game was over after the Drake fight. How how OP would Aesol be in this game though? That's all I'm saying. Like, imagine the same game that we just watched, but they just have Aurelian Soul. Wouldn't it just be Turbo instead of this useless Rise? Like, at least then they would have a, a chance at some of these these Drake fights where they would have, like, Empowered Ult, or they'd be able to do something. And also, like, he wouldn't be trying to push the lane, so Angel probably wouldn't have died. I don't know. This is just an angle where I just feel like teams are not making use of the, the champions that are in the game. All right. Well, RNG went red side again after that. Okay, they have to ban the Annie here, right? You're definitely banning the Annie? Yeah, okay. So they have to ban the Annie after last game. Ban stayed the same from TT. But I think that that it already changes the game heavily that Annie's no longer on the table. That's that's a that's a great pick for uh, TT. The Yone is something that they win with a lot. And Gragas versus Kennen. I, I really don't like that matchup on the Kennen side of it. I feel like it's just so easy for Gragas. Honestly, this might be a Tom Kitchenko for Ming, but it's so weird because you have a Kennen and a Wukong on your team. But then again, like, how is your Jinx going to play the game if you don't draft some type of protection for him? I think this is such a hard Jinx game to play. You're playing Jinx into Yone with no... I mean, look, maybe if they play front to back, maybe they can save him, but I feel like it's so easy for Yone to just dive the Jinx. Weird comments, bro. Which shatters be normal around women challenge impossible? And now setting up for the dive, Flash Zenith, Flash good. Well played. This is uh, looking so good for RNG. They're, they're really making use of their three prior lanes, and they were just using it to. And Wei Wei used the three prior lanes really well. Got a plate bot. There's there's no summoners on Nautilus. There's no cleanse on Huan Feng. He flash. Oh. 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 He should still die, I think. Uh, maybe he lives? He dodged everything. He should still die. Wow, he actually lives, bro. He dodged everything. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. It was a really good stun. So he stunned the. He stunned at the same time as Hoya's E so that there wasn't any follow up that was allowed. Also, Wei should just go on Nautilus here and just kill him. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Exactly. There, that, that was the time where I'll excuse not going for the EQR. And I mean, that that's a play that like explodes the whole fucking game for, for TT. Because they're investing into this top lane to try to kill Breathe, and they're selling out their bot lane as a result. And yeah, uh, did not go well for them. All right, okay, you finally got the cannon, guys. Wei has uh, no ult. He can't fight this at all. Uh, I mean, Death Rocket came in. Uh, it's just too hard to fight. I mean, probably like the closest comparison. Oh my god, they're just back? They're back for this motherfucker? Jesus, bro, let him live! Dragon is up! I mean, I guess they're just gonna give him Dragon anyway, obviously, so... <laughs> they, they, they can't do anything about it, but it's like... It, it doesn't really affect the game. The cannon dying a couple times is fine. I mean, he shouldn't be dying. Like, he should just, he should just survive, but... Fine. Jinx is turbo ahead. Going back to what we said earlier, like... This is not that easy of a Jinx game. You have to be worried about Gragas ults. You have to be worried about Yone. Yone is a big issue for you. Alright, he's dead. Oh, wait, no, he's alive. Oh, no, he's dead. Wait, no, he's alive. No, he's dead. I no, <laughs> shouldn't have ulted, but it's fine. He should have just held his ult there. because, But, but they get Drake for free off this. So TT sacrificed Drake here in order to get one kill back. Yeah, So and then that's why they're also Gragas ulting the wave because they're completely conceding the Drake. I think this is actually a smart play by TT. Instead of running into the team that's stronger than you, you actually just play for uh, the side lane. And McKennon has no ult, bro. Were you actually TPing here? I mean, I guess to try to save the turret. And breathe just defense for now. He's gonna he die walked back in. He's like, no, surely not. No one expects. Oh, uh, no. I mean, no one's following this. Beijuan just wasted his flash. I don't know. I feel like Beijuan is just kind of inting here. Oh, my God. Where did Angel send that 
fucking chain. Really good uh, ulti from... Oh, really insane ulti from Ming, though. Ming played it super well. They can Baron off this, I think. I think they can Baron off this if they if Wukong can somehow connect this team. Well, yeah, I mean, this is smart from TT. So TT is trying to force Wukong away because he, they know that if Wukong gets there, it's a free Baron. So they're starting Baron right now. Wukong's going to try to connect to the team. Angel's trying to, like, allow him to get through. Because Gala has damage for it. There's no TP for 11 seconds from Hoya. Now that Wei's here, he can just tank it. This is weird. Okay, he hits the chain. Uh, this is weird. I feel like Angel tried to turn too early. I guess they can still play for Drake. I mean, this TP, I mean, they shouldn't be able to do Baron. I mean, all the only person that needs to stay is Wei. Wei and Gala need to stay. This might be a desperation Baron angle, but I mean, Angel has TP, so this is massive int. If TZ try this, I think they lose. The only advantage they have is that, oh no, they don't even have ult advantage. They have no advantage here. They should just lose the game here. Legit, they just lose the game, I think. Gala got ulted. Good stopwatch from Gala. He has to flash out. Oh, they're all peeling for him. Okay, Jinx goes crazy in this fight. It's over. The stopwatch buy was so smart from Gala here. He knew that this fight was going to... Like, he's just going to need one stopwatch. He's going to need it super bad with how the enemy team comp operates. Hunfang has no flash himself. Oh, Wei with a get with a good engage. Oh my god, they can't play the game. Look at how far back Gala was playing. Look at Gala's position this whole time. He positioned so incredibly far back. It was crazy. All right, just get Soul. Oh yeah, yeah. He breathe is dead. No, why are we TPing? Now nah, we're griefing. Why did we TP here? Angel! Angel's trying to do the dash. Okay, what what items does Gala have? Does Gala have a... There's no way he has an IE. Did he pull an IE out of his butt here? Oh, wait. All right, but he has GA. He has GA, and his team is winning the other side of it. Ocean Soul, though. Ocean Soul. He can actually hit here because of Ocean Soul. Oh, Yukao's dead. Well, shit, it's over. He's got GA though. Oh wait, he doesn't even lose this GA. It's still fine. It's still completely fine. It's still completely fine. It doesn't matter, Kitty. The zap doesn't connect. Gala still has GA available. The fact that one bomb got away with that is absurd. It's fine. It was like literally a 4v5. It's completely okay for them. Breathe died early and they pretty much won it without uh gala and gala actually kept his his uh ga and uh huan fong is no flash for the next fight i think this is fine just ult him bro just ult him he's no flash just throw your ult and kill him it, breathe was so like uh he was so confused by the fact that there was Juani in his face that he lost his mind like no that should be an instant like this guy just queued over no flash into the whole enemy team he is playing sejuani that's their smite blow the ult for it we win the fucking game just insta ult that you know this is also a really good sign of life seeing the flexibility as rng are moving into fog of war tt is still waiting they're being very patient but what will they lose if they stay here too long oh Ooh, got caught uh, i think they lose this fight <laughs> i think gala just kills everyone unfortunately and kennen has a flank right onto Han Fung too oh my god Han Fung's face yeah gg well two very different games two very very different games but i expect that rng is just going to continue with this uh any ban I wonder if TT has anything else because this is a very TT comp. Like maybe they're willing to run this comp back. I could see, I could see TT running this comp back and just thinking that the game was lost because they inted all their flashes at level one. But they kind of are playing no prio lanes, like three lanes no prio. Pretty tough. Kong first pick. I mean, it looked really good last time. Did they just get Zyra Khan? I mean, Zyra Khan, you'd assume that it would just be something like Aphelios Nautilus picked into it. Zyra Khan is not considered as OP in uh, Eastern regions. 
Like, T T1 was getting Zyrakon like every game. No one cared. So like, yeah, bro, you can play Zyrakon if you want. Have fun. Apparently, Kennen is considered mega OP. Do we go Grogs again as an answer, or do we pick our AD here so it doesn't get banned? So if you pick Zeri here, you're 100% banning Nautilus, because Nautilus is good into both Rakan and Zeri. Why do people stop punishing Rakan lanes when he's blind first pick? Well, I mean, Rakan just got mega buffed, so... I mean, people do punish Rakan lanes, but when a champion is mega buffed, normally what that means is that the lanes that used to be really bad for the champion end up being like okay and Rakan is just super op in team fights and especially the way that Rakan got buffed right the way that Rakan got buffed i think is so good for being able to survive matchups that were bad before vex vex versus tr versus four champions with dashes i mean if there's ever a vex spot okay i fuck with it it makes sense at least so you have Doom and Gloom passive. Gloom is whenever... Oh! You Cal flashed. I mean, that's flash or flash. That's actually not that bad. I mean, it's it's better for LeBlanc to have no flash in this lane, but I mean, it's 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 okay. Needs Jin Lu back. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Wei played it like that, okay. And it worked. Ooh, Kennen getting first blood and flash blown. Oh, he's gonna help him push too. What season was peak league for me? Season 4. I thought season 4 was like the best season. Just because there was so much skill expression, like every jungle matchup was like Elise, Lee Sin, you're playing Eve, like Rengar, Kazix, like everything was just a, oh my god, wait, you just don't win at all. Oh, the block, the block from Yukal. Oh, he gets him. Oh, man. Close, close, close. Breathe is so strong right now. Oh, he's just going a death cap in this game, huh? Or maybe he's going Shadow Flame. All right, what happens here? Oh, wow, they're just dead. Oh, they got the resets? They got resets? The flash auto to... Ah, uh, nah, never mind. So he tried to flash auto there so that Angel was able to line up the ult, but the wall ride was still there. Love those three to 400 damage Wukong Qs, pretty healthy. Uh, oh my god, Breathe dodged the, the Q3 with Proto Belt. Bro, they're just skill checking each other. I mean, like, that's... I, I, don't, I don't hate this from, from Hoya, man. Like, you took the fight and he just played well with his Proto Belt. Like, I think it's winning. It's, it's just you're it's you're just skill checking him completely and i don't i don't hate that he's expecting himself to win that not a huge con fan oh my god that flash is disgusting you you are actually just not good anymore bro i don't know what to tell you bro that was just really f what the f was that Go to, I guess they try to go on Beichuan. Yeah, Beichuan probably just dies here. They just sacrifice him. He doesn't even try to flash away. I mean, TT's on soul point. I mean, they're on soul point. I don't. I think it's gonna be a hard soul to contest though. But this is on to Angel. Of course, Angel gets hit. Yeah. Vex is, uh, I mean, Vex is just playing bad. Angel's just playing bad, but the rest of the team is doing well, so that's fine. I mean, I think that there's there's problems definitely in the game, though. I don't even know if it matters that Angel is weak, because I feel like the other four are so strong. Like, you look at Breathe right now, he's up 50 CS. He's on two items. He's got a stopwatch for this next fight. He won't have Flash, which is big. And Gala is a little bit stronger than Huan Fong, but they're both pretty strong. But I think the Wukong is, like, really... OP. I like that. Oh, this is a bad play from Patreon. He can't go anywhere, he's just dead. Breathe is just there. Can they do Baron off this? So here's the question for TT. What do they do in the next game? I mean, assuming they lose this game, which they probably will. What do they do in the next game? Because they tried... I mean, they played both sides of this. They played red side and blue side. And they haven't figured out the RNG dr draft strategy yet. Maybe they just go blue side and first pick Rakan. Because these teams have been prioritizing red side. That's been pretty key. Every team that's had side select 
I guess it's not true because TT chose blue the first game and then RNG chose red and then TT chose red afterwards. Read this ton of damage, by the way. Oh my god, the exhaust. He has stopwatch too. Oh, they can get the turret now. I, it, it feels like it's so over, man. It feels like it's really over for a TT. I don't know how they win this game. I think it's still win the series, but just this game looks really over to me. LDL after this? Nope. I'm sleeping after this. Oh, he hit. He hit. He's dead. Oh, no flash on that guy. He's dead, too. Read the stopwatch. He has flash. Can he flash over? Oh, he, he didn't get the flash over. He did use the stopwatch, which is pretty big. But Wukong has ult, so uh, let's see what happens here. We're not killing that pink ward? Okay, way we're just not killing the pink ward, okay? Letting them have it. I guess Breathe is like, all right, I'll kill it. Oh, way uh oh but yeah yeah was one shot they could have killed way though i'm pretty sure they could have killed way if they invested everything he might have to flash no i guess not uh, let's see how they play this they used to be really good at these turns but i don't know if it'll be the same angel needs to be able to block with his w oh wow they bursted that really well okay that was well done Breathe is over the wall. He's trying to kill Han Fong. Ooh, canceled, uh, canceled Yukal out of his uh, W there. Oh, Breathe is just alive. Going to the bush so he can get movement speed. <laughs> Look at Gala chasing. Oh, he tried to snipe him over the wall. Look at Wei, bro. Jesus. They're trying to end mid. Yeah, it's over. Chase him all the way. Angel's like, I'm helping, guys. I'm part of the team. Hey, guys. It's just it's just like playing with your boy, Jahu. Isn't it similar? Gragas? The Gragas answer to Kennen? They're giving over Wukong? What? You were actually just giving over Wukong. Kennen, even though it's smurfed the last games. I don't know. I think this is so troll. Just take the Wukong, bro. Don't overthink it. All right. It's looking like it's going to game five based off what I'm seeing. They're doing the, the Talia here to just block the um, Talia Vi combo. And because Talia is also good into Wukong. People like playing Ari into Talia in lane. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I would much rather be on TT's side. Based on how this series has gone, the Wukong has looked so giga OP. I would rather be on TT's side of this. But who knows? Maybe they're too mentally shattered from the last two games that they end up just like sprinting it in this one. I assume that TT will ban Zeri here. I think like even though Zeri has a dash, I don't think she really cares that much about Talia. They ban Jinx instead. I mean, Gala should just take Zeri. Counter pick on five. I don't know. So what does CT want to play? Do they want to play something like Lucian Nami? Like, what are they looking for? What is their angle? Aphilios. Nautilus, I guess. I guess you go Nautilus here. Do you have some way to lock down the Zeri? Because your comp is not good into Zeri right now. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. I assume it'll just be Nautilus, and then it'll just be Leona for Ming on five, because he just wants to play Leona every game. I mean, it's, it's kind of good for RNG, the bot lane situation, because TT feels like they have to go Nautilus, but then Ming gets a Leona, and even though Leona is not like great into Talia, Ming is gonna be super comfortable playing it in the game. And they, they knew that he's there. They should never die here. Oh, they kill him. He's dead. Is he dead? I mean, I think that's fine. Zeri gets first blood. Gala could have healed, but I think he was dead anyway. Wait, he healed right there? Wait, why did he heal right there? That was such a weird heal. Wait, what the f*** happened? Oh, good. Wade just wants the kills, bro. Just it ends up being okay all right bro like if he wants to be diving some turrets like okay it's fine yukal has ghost here good combo wow that was really well played that was really well played it was just of uh, it was just flash flash vial into the rest of their ults and now they get free drake it kind of sucks that ming is the one that gets the kill but i mean all in all they're gonna be okay with that
Way it just switched on to another oh, they're actually TPing here? Nah, this is not good from them. This is not good. This is a really bad TP, I think. They get Drake and everyone gets out and one uh, one person dies. Gala gets another kill. I mean, obviously, Gala had to expend his flash there. He didn't expend heal. Maybe that can be used in some way, but I mean, Gala's gonna base and have shield bow. He's gonna be pretty hard to kill. He's gonna uh, get a slightly slower base, but I mean, even if he gets a slightly slower base, he just got another kill. They just have to give it. <laughs> I mean, they got blue, I guess. I don't think this is good. I don't think you can go on to uh, Ming. Oh, okay, that was good. That's actually, uh, man. Oh, Gala? Oh, breathe! Oh, he dies? Okay, at least he dies. But Yukal has to flash here. Ah, man, the problem with this is that it's going to be in that RNG gets Drake. Ooh, that was a close fight. That was a close fight, but this is advantage RNG because RNG can um, get priority on Drake and their ultis. Like, they're going to have the Gragas ult. Gragas can be there with TP. He's going to have ult up. They should just be able to win the fight when Kennen has no flash. Like, it should just be easy for them to get in there. It looks like TT's going to fight it. Zeri still has shield bow, has flash. Zeri still has flash. I don't know. They're, they have no ults and Gragas has ult. I think this is a mistake. I don't think they can fight this. I think if they fight this, they lose the game. They should, uh, I mean, I think RNG is kind of misplaying here. They should have just, they should force this knowing Wukong has no ult. Wukong is a minion right now. Angel has ult back up and Breathe still has ult. If TT try to fight this, they should lose the game. Like, Gala has ult back up too. Fight this, fight this, fight it! What the f***? They're inting! They're inting so hard! Kill them all, bro! What the f***? I can't believe they fought that, bro. That was so cringe, man. They, they're they're panicking super hard. They have no ults, and they're like, if we give this third Drake, we lose. But it's like, you, you don't. You don't actually lose there, and there's no point of fighting this fight. It's like almost 0% chance to win. But yeah, it's just so point for RNG. Things are going really well. I mean, Zeri, if Zeri gets uh, Navary before the next fight, that's tough. Oh, Woody Fruity! Woody Fruity! Bro, the thing is, this guy is actually really tanky, so you can't Woody Fruity him. Oh, they're trying to kill mid. They got his flash. This is, I mean, even if Wei dies here, this is actually good for them, by the way. This is unironically completely fine, because he traded his flash and his ult for both the sums, as long as they don't lose Baron, which I don't think they can lose Baron. May maybe they lose Baron. Okay, if they lose Baron, then it's bad. But Breathe is TP in 27, and Wei is up in 24, and Gala still is ult. If they lose Baron, it's bad. If they don't lose Baron, then the AD carry having no sums for the Drake fight will probably just lose them the game. Even if they do get Baron, it still might be okay, though. Oh my god, there's so much damage from this area here. Zarya's gonna kill everyone. Nope. Oh! Okay. He'll be taken down, but Angel versus Baytron versus you, Cal the Charm. Only under the time, Spirit Rush Orbit Deception. Baytron gets the bonk. The bonk is good. Oh Breathe comes in. It's a triple kill for the jungler now, but Breathe with I think it's actually okay. He's a finish when he started. Can't go from you, Cal. He's second to 1v2. He okay, he's going to kill them both, and then they just get Drake. If they kill this guy, they get Drake. Look, that looked pretty in from way, but I'm telling you, something you have to always consider in these situations is. The value, like, the value of getting the AD carry sums before this soul fight. Like, even if you lose Baron there, it still could be argued that that's worth because the sums matter so much for the soul fight. So I just want to, I just want to throw that out there. Like, this is something that you see so much in the LPL that I think a lot of people will just look at this and just be like, oh, they're just inting. But like, this is... This is a play where if you don't lose Baron off this, you'll do it every single time. The sums just matter way too much for the the fight. And like the Vi sum doesn't matter at all. So now they have Infernal Soul, right? Which was obviously the whole plan all along. Uh, we don't need to do this. They can't fight. They can't fight. Even with Ari having no ult, they still can't fight. It just means that uh, RNG should not start the Baron, I think. I mean, they could start the ban because Kennen has no TP, but it's, it's just risky. It's unnecessary. 
Oh, kill page one. Oh, wait, they missed. They missed. It was a really bad ult from Ming there, but they still win the fight super hard because Kennen's not here. Uh, that's just Baron. It's a wrap. That's just Baron. Dude, TT fell apart, man. They fell apart. He's stumped by RNG this series. What happened in game one doesn't even matter. No one will remember. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that you can boil down game one to, like, don't give Annie. I, I think it's actually that simple. Like, Annie is considered OP. It's considered really OP in LCK. Um, and it's considered, like, borderline OP in LPL. I think LCK is higher priority on the Annie. And it seems like Annie is just broken. So I think that they're right on that one. Well, you're losing your entire base for this, but I mean, I, I guess you killed the Gragas. Kala has no flash. He's just got to be careful. Kala is such a cocky mother. I can't believe they're just standing there. Dude, I, I guess they have no no Wukong ult, so he doesn't feel threatened at all. But like, come on, bro. This is just disrespectful right here. Oh my god, Wade just ran it down. Oh my god, the Gala damage. What the f***? Oh my god, Gala, calm down, brother. What the f***? Nah, I love this mother yeah, This is just one of my favorite players. Dude, Gala's such a sick player. I wish his team didn't grief him every other game. Yeah, just give him give him some kills at the end so he so he still plays with you. You're lucky that this mother still plays with you bums. You heard me? You heard me? You're lucky that he graces you with his presence. This absolute giga chad of an AD carry. Look at that, bro. Light work. He doesn't even he doesn't give two. F 